The budget credibility and revenue and expenditure analysis reports track transparency and accountability in the management of tax revenues and government expenditures in Sierra Leone. The report, among many findings, reveals that some MDAs get more budget than what is approved by Parliament, while some are getting less. It is appalling to note that some may be up to 10% of what is approved. And when that happens, it's going to affect service delivery, especially the department that has direct dealing with service delivery. The other report we looked at that talks about revenue and service analysis, we try to look at on a month-to-month -month basis what NRA has generated as against what government is spending. And we find out that overall, government is spending more than actually what it's been getting. And the budget, government is reporting on what they intend to get from grant or, or donor. But in the expenditure, government is not reporting on donor expenditure. That's why government gets D in expenditure. Even the same thing about revenue, when we look at the revenue, we have two set of things we're looking at. The aggregate revenue and the composition revenue. On the composition revenue, the social security contribution is not being reported to the responsibility of NASIT. So in some of our recommendation, we try to recommend that, for example, NASIT to public social security contribution. The two reports were done under the five years promoting accountability and community engagement project, which also tracks government's revenue generation and budget credibility, which are fundamental to good governance. It is a five-year project and uh, it is a consortium project as well that has a budget advocacy network, NMJD, Green Scenery, Owners, um, as partners, and Christian Aid Sierra Leone is the lead uh, in terms of the local implementation of this project. The Christian Aid representative emphasized on the recommendations. The government now has to really critically consider um, how they could rationalize, for example, the wage bill. So limiting the wage bill and ensuring that the allowances other recurrent costs are kept to a reasonable minimum and are able to demonstrate value for money. I also want to emphasize on behalf of Mr. that the government has to look at how to improve on the property tax collection but also work collaboratively with city council. The budget credibility report covers 2020, 2021 and 2022 whilst the revenue and expenditure analysis reports covers from January 2022 to September 2023. Salifu Chorona Kamara, AYV News.